Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Much of the power in Crystal Reports lies in its ability to use powerful analytical functions and mathematical expressions to create complex formulas which can manipulate and further calculate the data displayed within a report. For example, you could create a formula in a field that multiplies the value within one field by the value displayed in another field. That's just one example of the ways in which formulas can be used in Crystal Reports. In this lesson, we will examine the ways in which you can write formulas within Crystal Reports. There are two different ways of writing formulas. You can use either the Crystal Syntax or the Basic Syntax. A syntax is simply an accepted way of writing an expression. Crystal syntax is the way of writing formulas which has always been included in all releases of Crystal Reports. The basic syntax is similar to the way of expressing statements in Visual Basic but has specific reporting variations implemented. You can use both types of formulas within your reports. You simply have the flexibility of choosing whichever syntax you prefer to use and are more skilled or comfortable with using. Now all formulas, regardless of how they are expressed, make use of some common elements. These various elements are combined together using the rules of expression that govern our selected syntax, meaning crystal or basic, to create the formulas that are used within reports. Now first off, within formulas you will see fields, and you will frequently make references to field values that are contained in the underlying tables of your report. These will always be in the format of table name, period, field name, and the entire entry will be enclosed within braces. You'll also see functions. Functions are preset mathematical and analytical operations that can be performed upon the values that are contained within your report. There are many different categories of functions available that can perform operations on different types of numeric, date time, and string or text values. Functions are always entered as the name of the function, for example, sum, followed by one or more additional arguments required by the function to work, with each argument separated by a comma. So for example, a function could be average, for example, and then an open parenthesis, and then the name of a field, and then closed parenthesis. There are several functions that are available. You also have operators, and Crystal Reports allows for the use of several standard mathematical and comparison operators within report formulas. For example, the plus sign can be used for addition, and the greater than symbol means greater than, and so on and so forth. You also have just plain text and numbers within formulas. You can make a reference to a string or a text value by enclosing the desired text with either single or double quotation marks. Numbers can also be entered into formulas as plain values with no commas or other unnecessary punctuation. Date time references are enclosed within pound signs. You can also have entirely other formulas within formulas. So other formulas can be referenced within a formula by preceding them with the at symbol followed by the formula name all surrounded by braces. So for example an open brace at formula name close brace syntax. Now formulas are not case sensitive. They are also not sensitive to carriage returns or spaces. You can certainly use spaces and carriage returns to make the formulas that you compose more comprehensible and easier to read, but they are not necessary per se. 
However, you must not place a carriage return within quotes or text values, as the, doing this will generate an error within your formula. Also, any lines within a formula that begin with two forward slash symbols will be ignored by Crystal Reports. Now, the forward slash symbol is used to denote comments within a formula. So very complex formulas can benefit from comments that clarify the purpose of the formula. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.